Shading your objects to look hand-drawn can be challenging, and it gets even harder when trying to make a metallic shader with those peak anime reflections. Because of Blender's natural tendency to make everything look photorealistic, you either end up with something close but not quite, or with something just way off. But what if I told you there's a way to make the perfect metallic shader with reflections that look completely hand-drawn? Welcome to the Comfy Mug channel. My name is Christian, and I spend countless hours learning how to make anime stuff in Blender so that it's quick and easy to learn for you. If you want to take your anime and stylized shaders to the next level in mere minutes, then you've come to the right place. So subscribe with notifications so you don't miss out on any future tips or secrets. And check out my Patreon in the description. The first tier is only $2 a month, and you get early access to my YouTube videos. And on the first of every month, I upload a new set of custom-built assets put together with you in mind. So if you feel like it, check out the link in the description. It helps me out a lot. Now, the effect that really sells the hand-drawn metallic look is this, a simple, solid white or colored highlight that acts just like a reflection. I had a whole thing written on why reflections work the way they do with mathematical theory and scientific evidence to back me up, but I'm just gonna assume you've seen a reflection before and we can get into the good stuff. So to start off, I have a sphere and a modified cylinder with a few loop cuts to define the edges where the reflections will really pop. I also have Node Wrangler enabled in my system preference if you don't have that enabled already, you probably should because it makes navigating the shader editor a whole lot easier. And speaking of the shader editor, I have a basic cell shader already set up, which if you don't know how to make one, I have a really quick tutorial on how to make an easy cell shader that can interact and react to different colored lights in your scene. So check it out if you like. Now to add our metallic reflection, we'll want to add a bump map glossy BSDF, shader to RGB, and a color ramp. Connect each node in the way you see on screen, changing the color ramp to constant, and adjusting the color stops to look like this. Select everything and add a frame with Shift P, then press the F2 key on the top left of your keyboard to rename the frame to Solid Reflection. Now we can add a mixed color node set to lighten and connect our cell shader to the A input and our solid reflection to the B input, allowing us to adjust the factor and change how opaque or transparent the reflection will be. We'll also want to add a mask so that our reflection doesn't go past our cell shader's shadow line. We can do this really quickly by duplicating a few nodes from our cell shader, connect the shader to RGB to the color ramp, and change the last color stop to black. Then add a mixed color node set to screen with the A input put set to black as well. Connect the mask color ramp to the factor and the reflection to the B input, and then connect the result to the B input of the light and mix color. Almost forgot about this part. We'll also want to change the mask's diffuse color back to white as well. Now, we could just stop there, but the reflection is looking a little too perfect in my opinion. And I'd like to add a little imperfection to emulate the smaller details that you would get if you were hand drawing this. So all we need for this are three noise textures, a color ramp, and a mix color set to linear light with this factor set to 0.1. Select the noise texture on the left and press Ctrl T to add a mapping and texture coordinate node with the vector set to object. We can connect the mapping node to the vector input of the noise on the far right, and then connect the factor of the noise on the far left to the vector input of the middle noise. We can then change the settings of each noise texture to the settings you see on screen, and connect the rest of the nodes, making sure the color ramp plugs into the A input, and the singular noise connects to the B input of our linear light. Then connect the result to the height of the bump map of our reflection and adjust the strength to about 0.2. Increasing the factor of the linear light will break up the flow of the reflection a little bit. The greater the scale of our singular noise, the more detail in those breaks. And to decrease or increase the amount of jagged threads on the edges of our reflection, we can mess around with the scale and detail of our middle noise. We can also increase the detail amount of our last noise texture to scrunch the current threads more together and increase the scale to get a more swirly, organic look. And that's the end of this tutorial. But now that you know how to make a stylized metallic shader in Blender, you should check out some other videos like this one on making textures look painted with just a couple nodes. Remember to like the video and subscribe with notifications, and check out my Patreon to support me and get access to a bunch of cool stuff. I want to give a huge thank you to my founding, past, and present patrons. You guys make it possible for me to make these videos, and I couldn't do this without you. Thank you guys so much. And thank you, the viewer, for watching the video. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you here next time at the Comfy Mug.